ordinary brothers, living in the small town of Easton, are as close as they can be. The two brothers are best friends and have been for quite some time now. They always played together, peacefully, not disturbing one another. Everything was normal and it was surprising to their mother and father how they got along so well with each other. But then, something changed for the worse. The mother and father noticed that they had started to drift apart. They wouldn't talk to each other or even acknowledge one another. It was odd to their parents, but they figured it was just a phase. When Stephen turned 18 and Mason turned 16, nothing was ever the same. Mason never talked to Stephen, and Stephen never talked to Mason. Stephen is an outgoing person. He's the popular kid at school with his girlfriend, Sophia. Mason was very much different than anyone else. But then, everything fell apart. Stephen got up for school one morning to be surprised that his mother had not woken up yet. He searched the entire house and never, never found him. When he tried calling them, he always heard a ringing near their bedroom. They left their phones in their room. Stephen didn't know what to tell Mason. Stephen told Mason that they had gotten to, into a car accident and they both passed away in the hospital. Stephen didn't want his brother to figure out what happened. Yet, Stephen didn't even know what happened. Since then, Stephen has been fostering Mason for the past few weeks, living by themselves and trying to manage to stay alive. Man, this weekend's going to be so much fun. Yeah, I agree. This party's going to be amazing. Oh, and Steven. Yeah? Please try to make your brother stay in his room during this party. We don't need him ruining it. <laughs> don't worry about it. He never leaves his room anyways. I can promise you he won't bother anybody. Really? Yeah. A few years ago, something in him has changed. Like, me and him used to be very close and do everything together now. He doesn't want to do anything with me. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That's weird. Yeah, I think it's because of what happened to our parents. But, I don't know, because he never talks to me. Yeah, that might be. Maybe this whole thing with your parents really took a toll on him. Yeah, who knows. Well, let's get back to my house. Home, sweet home. Want anything to eat? Nah, babe, I'm good. Okay, well, I'm gonna go make something to eat. I'll just be in the kitchen. Okay, sounds good. What the hell was that? I don't know, but it sounded like it came from upstairs. Well... Well, what? Let's check it out. No, 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 you can check it out. Okay, then. I'll just leave you down here, alone. Who knows if I'll ever come back. Okay, okay, jeez, don't leave me. Haha, <laughs> thought so. Let's go. That's strange. What? Mason should be at school. Well, we'll open the door and see. Mason, what are you doing home? Since when do you care? I've always cared. Yeah, I know. You always care about yourself and Sophia. What? What does this have to do with anything? Did you even go to school today? No. Why not? I didn't feel like it. Well, you cannot just not go to school because you don't feel like it. Oh my god. Steven, it was one day. Chill out. It better be only one day. Now listen, we are having a party tomorrow, and for your safety, we don't want you to come out of your room during, during it, okay? Okay, fine. For your friend's safety, they shouldn't even come here. What did you say? Nothing! Just go away! I told you to stay in your room, Mason. Oh, my lord, Stephen, relax. We still have five minutes until people start to show up. Haven't you heard? 
Or have you been in your room all your goddamn life? People usually show up early. I'm just getting some snacks. Uh, no. Those are for the party. But I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, Mason. You've ruined everything. I wish I wouldn't have. Oh, they're here. Mason, get to your room now, and don't even think about coming downstairs. Hello, come in. Woo! Let's get this party started! Mason, are you in here? Oh, there you are, Mason. I heard a loud noise. What was that? I don't know. Okay. Steven, where did Michael go? Michael... Michael who? You know, from school. I thought I saw him not too long ago. I'll, I'll check the house. I can't seem to find him. Maybe he left. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's nice to see you again. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Alright, everyone, the party's over. Please have a great night. Thank you for coming. Ooh, I fucking love you, Steve. Woo! 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 It's lit. Goodbye, everyone. That party was pretty great. Could have done it without you. Aw, babe. Is the party over yet? Yeah, the party's over. You can have any of the snacks you want. I don't want anything, but thanks. What's that smell? It smells rotten. Gross. I smell that too. Maybe a, a rat died in the ferns or something. I would assume so. Hey, Sophia. I think there's something up with Mason. He's been acting kind of strange lately. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Maybe you should go talk to him. That might help him with whatever he's going through. I've been thinking about asking him after school tomorrow. I'm going to drive him to school because I want him to make sure that he does go to school and doesn't skip again. That would be the smartest thing to do. Any idea why he didn't go? I don't know. He's been quiet for at least a few years now, so it's normal. It's hard to tell when something's actually going on because he's so, so quiet. Well, I better be off now. It was nice having you over. I'll see you later, babe. Bye. <sighs> I might as well head off to bed. It's getting late. Hey, Mason, make sure you actually go to school today. Okay. Yeah, 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 whatever, I will. If I found out you're skipping any classes, you're done. Got it? Yeah, whatever. You're not mom and dad. I'm not, but I'm your legal guardian, Mason. Whatever. Man, I really need to talk to Mason. Mason, we need to talk. You're not in trouble. Ha. Just pull the dad right there. Mason, we need to talk. 
you've just been so quiet lately. I know you've been quiet for a long time now, but you've been acting a little bit strange. Strange, you say? Yeah, like, like you've murdered someone or something. <laughs> okay, not funny. Anyway, you've been been really quiet lately, and I haven't been able to talk to you. So, what's going on? Nothing you need to know about you. Mason, I'm here to help you. You need to understand that. No, you're not. You only care about yourself and Sophia. That's not true. How could you think that? It's true. Just face it, Stephen. After Mom and Dad died, you've acted like this. You don't know what happened to them. What? I do. Mason, what are you talking about? Sit back. Relax, Stephen. You seem so... tense. Mason, what are you talking about? You're acting even weirder. Just tell me. I will never tell you. Get out of my room! Mason, I'm, I'm here to... I get it! Oh, you're here to help me? No, you're not, Stephen. You've never helped me. For as long as I've been alive. So don't even try to say that you have. Now, how about you get out of my damn room, you bitch? This is Sophia. I'm unable to get to the phone right now. Please leave a message and I'll be back to you as soon as possible. Thanks. Bye. That's weird. Sophia usually always picks up her phone. Oh, hey, Mason. Have you seen Sophia lately? She isn't picking up her phone and she usually does. Um, I think I heard her say she wanted you to come over today. Oh, okay. I'll head over there now. weird in here. Oh god, it's getting worse. Oh my gosh. Sophia, no! No! Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello. Hello, Stephen. This is Easton County Police. We're looking into the murder case of Sophia. We found the fingerprints of the subject. We are looking for the subject who murdered Sophia. Just wanted to keep you updated. Hang in there. Thank you. Mason, we need to talk. What about? Well, Sophia... Sophia, um, Sophia died.
They don't know how. All they know is that someone murdered her. Swear to God, whoever murdered her is gonna rot in the depths of hell with Satan. I wouldn't say that if I were you. What do you mean? You'll find out eventually. Okay. God damn, why do you have to be so awkward when I tell you these things? Do you have to have any emotion at all? You have no goddamn emotion when mom and dad died. could have done such a thing? Could have been someone from school? Who could have done this to her? Eastern County, please. I'm Deputy John Williams. Do you have any updates on who murdered Sophia? Well, um, could you step outside for a moment? Yeah, sure. Is that a police officer? Oh no. So, who did this? Who could have done this? Steven, we need to talk about Mason and what he has in relation with Sophia. Shit! Um, thank you, officer. No problem, Steven. What? How could he? Even there's no way he could have done this. I don't know why I ever spoke to you. Steven is horrible. <laughs> yeah, I killed Sophia. But, I'll never know. <laughs> but, I have to hide from this. Where can I hide you guys? What's that? My gosh. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? Mom? Dad? Oh my gosh! What the hell happened? God. Why are you here? What happened to you guys? Mason? What the fuck is this? How could you have done this to them? Huh? Do you actually do this? That's mom. That's dad. How could you have done this to them, Mason? I cared about you. <laughs> Silly Steven. You never cared about me. You only cared about yourself and Sophia. But this is what it's come to now, Steven, isn't it? This is what it's come to. But now, Sophia's gone. And now you have no one left to love. This makes absolutely no sense, Mason. How can you have done this? No, you don't. No! No, no, no! You can't lock me in here, Mason! Oh, yeah, I can. I'll be back in a few days. Don't worry. You'll be with Mom and Dad sooner or later. Mason, no! Are you gonna come back? There's no way. How could he kill me? Kill mom! Sophia! How could he? You're next. <laughs>